direction. I'm not asking that we should pray. I know we are we are all we are, it's a is a thanksgiving fasting, but you can take opportunity. Don't only focus, Lord, no, I want you to bless me, my my children to be blessed, my marriage, my kids. I know that's what many of you are praying for. I know that's a prayer popular. Parents, the popular prayer is for the children. Wives, the popular prayer is for their husband. Husband, popular prayer is their wives. Other people, popular prayer is a job. Others, popular prayer is a healing. But all these things, they are good. But what about, do you know what is the cause of all these things? There should be a cause before a child can be helped this way. There should be a cause before you can have a problem of finance. There should be a cause before you can have a problem in a marriage. There should be a cause. So that's why you should pray for. Lord, I want to speak less after this fasting. Can I amen? amen. Be probably your talking has caused the chaos. So Lord, I will speak less after this fasting. Am I talking to somebody right now? Amen. So when you start to have this type of fasting, you are, because you are looking for something, God said, this is what I'm looking for. Yes. Secondly, maybe I'm, simple, I'm just a stinger. I want after this fasting to be a person who's going to share with people. Amen. So the fasting is changing something inside of you. If another one comes in, another one comes, God said, now when you cry unto me, I'll say, here I am. Somebody say amen. Our fasting, as we are entering the mode of tomorrow, I want you to attack one thing tomorrow. Lord, this is what I want to change. I want you to take this situation. I want you this. And as I say, when I came here, that was just, listen, I didn't know. When I was reading scripture, the scripture God gave me about the yokes bring the yoke. I have no idea that's come connection with these scriptures here. To break the yokes of other people, to remove the burdens. Before God can remove your burdens, remove the burdens of other people. Amen. So God wants us to understand that this fasting is working something new for us. Amen. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. It's good we start July. Somebody say July. July. You are a brand new person. Amen. Amen. You must have that target. Maybe. You have been a very, very lazy in the prayer. But I say, Lord, I want to attack July with the fire of prayer. Yes. Not after this fasting, you go back to January. <laughs> no. You should say, now, Father, my prayer, I want to, I want this fasting to ignite fire of my prayer. That's all. Many become lazy to know where your Bible is. Lord, after this prayer, I'm going to dedicate two hours or one hour or 30 minutes or 15 minutes of the word of God. Something must be born after this fasting. Amen. You can't be pregnant for three days and give nothing and give birth to nothing. We are all pregnant right now. After these three days, something must be born. People may say, surely you will pray fasting. Surely I can see there is a result. I want everybody to be challenged. Everybody to be challenged. After these three days, what am I going to give back for? What am I going to come out of me? And that should be a decision. I want to know something to be coming, to come out of this prayer fasting. So that when I will remember we had a three day prayer fasting, I'll say, yes, after those three days, this will happen to me. This will happen to me. And that's what God wants. Now, I want you to bow your head and think about one thing. Just only one thing, not two things. You may have 10, 15, 16, forget about them, and only one. And there's one which will pop out to the first. That is the one. That is what we're going to bring to God. Things that you decide on a single. This is what I wanted out of me. I want this out of me. Out of me.
want this prayer and fasting. Oh, I want this in me, benefiting your spiritual life. Only one thing. Lord, you can see our heart and our mind. I now pray, Father, that the needs, the desires, the things your people are calling for, what they are focusing on, after tomorrow, let this remain permanent. Amen. After praying fasting, Lord, they will remember these things turn around for my good. After the days of prayer, I ask you, Lord, because I know you are able to do so. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Come on, put your hands together for the glory of God. Come on, clap your hands together for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we are already in, the, in that season of uh, appreciating God, giving Him thanks. So, ashes and bring the, the offerings, baskets, I think some people already giving, and let us. Uh, Continue in that mode already. Let's appreciate what God has done this year. The machine is going around. If you need an envelope, let's raise your hand. Amen. The musician will play something for us. Two different effects.